All right, so let's get to, okay, here's a double chin. So typically it's the mom looking down at their new baby, but this one happens to be a dad. And this one looks really difficult, but with Lucify, it's actually not too bad. So I'm going to do my F12 and we'll just go straight in here. Now I'm gonna use a great big brush on this. So I definitely need to freeze the baby's face. And let's zoom in a little bit. Now, with regards to his chin, his chin is fine right here. It's this part that we want to smooth out. So I'm gonna freeze that. And I'm not really worried about the chain because it's all gonna move smoothly. And if it does get distorted, I can always copy it from the bottom layer. So we'll go up to forward warp. Now, I usually treat this as two different arcs. Like this point is one arc. So I usually straighten that out. So now it's a big arc. And this time, giant brush to encircle the whole thing. And the X is at the worst part. And you can see how it would take the baby's face with it. So what I'm going to do is click and press up. Now, that one, it looks like it did a funny little thing right there. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to give it a second chance there. And sometimes I need to do that. Let's try that one more time. Now, a lot of people will change the brush density and the brush pressure. And essentially, that's what I'm doing with the size of the brush. The brush density makes it um, move more out to the edges. And I just change the size of the brush instead. That gives me a visual rather than change the number. It's like, what does that number mean? I don't know. But I see the sides of my brush, so that gives me a visual. And then the brush pressure, um, that is how much it moves. And I usually do it at 100%, but occasionally I need to turn it down. Um, so let me try this one more time. I'm going to do the point up, and then a bigger brush, and do this whole area up. OK, that, side, that time it looks a little bit smoother. I'm going to say OK. Now, occasionally, there's a little thing that I need to fix, but look at the difference. Now, sometimes there's a line of demarcation on his face from the, um, you know, where it hits the part that's frozen. So I usually uh, just use the patch tool or the healing brush and patch it and get rid of that. And now occasionally I'll need to go in here and fix that. It's actually not too bad. There's one little spot right there. But occasionally you'll get a little wavy line. And if you get a little wavy line, then you can use your history and restore just that part. But sometimes you have to clone it. It's like I can use my history right there. And then J for the patch tool, get rid of that spot. And I would probably use the clone tool just to get rid of that teeny little spot right there. So that is a huge, huge improvement. And I could make it go up a little bit farther, but no need to do it so it looks fake.